14th of April 2021. My name is Sergey Baklikov and I continue my live broadcasts. Yes, it is. Still in St. Petersburg, Russia. Now this is Baltiski Vaxel, Baltic's railway station, one of five active railway stations in the northern capital of uh, Russia, here in St. Petersburg. And uh, here, actually in the uh, backyards of uh, Baltiski Vaxel, Baltic's railway station, there is located the largest railway museum, not only in St. Petersburg, but in the whole Russia. The museum they started developing yet 40 years ago and now this is the largest museum in Russia and one of the largest in the world. I mean the railway museum, the trains museum, local museum and so on. 50,000 50, square meters of uh, the uh, museum space there and now here on Baklikov Live you will see it this all. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Um, I'm sorry for uh, a little delay, but you know, I actually suppose I will come a little bit earlier, but came 11 minutes uh, later because I've got probably the slowest taxi driver ever. Usually they all really rush. This one was yield to everybody and was stopping at every traffic light even when there was a blinking green well we all know that actually blinking green you still can go because especially here in russia after blinking green there is yet uh, the uh, uh, yellow and only then the red so it's like plus three four seconds yet so that was strange but okay now i'm here and we are beginning Baltiski Vaxal. Uh, so it goes in direction of Baltics. Let's say when I went to Pskov on a, um, a kind of high-speed suburban train, not as uh, high-speed as uh, Sapsan, but it's a suburban train. It's called Swallow. On a Swallow, I went to Pskov. Pskov from here. Okay, let's go. In order to get to the museum, you need to go uh, to the right from uh, uh, to the right from the railway station, and that's where is the museum. Normally, normally, it works until 6 p.m., but only on Wednesday, it works until like 8:30. So Wednesday is a good day. Wednesday is a good day well at least it's a good day for me because I know that uh, the majority of my audience as later for me as better so we're now walking along Baltiski Vaxel, the building of Baltiski Vaxel. This is uh, the uh, railway station itself. And there's, there's the whole museum. You see that? Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. 50,000 square meters. Two holes. <clears throat> and also, there's a whole area. Open air. And there's the actual platforms. Suburban train just got there. About 180 items are there. Really lots of steam trains, locomotives, diesel locomotives, uh, electric locos. Uh, steam trains, just the cars, rail cars, it's awesome, wow. Mm -hmm.
I'm gonna buy the ticket. Здравствуйте, мне нужен билет один полный. Это еще мне можно да фотографировать? А, окей, окей. Okay, 300 rubles, which is four bucks. Four bucks. And uh, you can film, you can video. If it's uh, not professional, uh, well, even my, even my, my kind of filming considered as not professional because it's only iPhone. It's just electronic gimbal. But if it's professional, it's five thousand rubles, which is like seventy bucks. But no worries, if you're gonna film with iPhone and even with electronic Steadicam, it's gonna be it's gonna be free. Okay, so you see the starts of exhibition. Rosti. Uh -huh. Let's get it started. Right on the entrance, such a 1897 tank steam locomotive meeting us. It's uh, it's pretty comfortable here to see what it is. Such a huge letterings available both in Russian and uh, in English language. This is B2023 tungsten locomotive built in 1897. Another tank steam locomotive, a little bit younger than that one, 1913. Wow. Pre-revolutionary train. Just wow. Or how to say? We call it Podstakanik, which is literally adder glasser. This is what you can find in every Russian train. Wow. Such a multimedia screen. Here you can find about all eras of the developments of uh, the railways in Russia.
last night. It's always exciting to see these kind of techniques, this kind of engineering creatures. Well, look, the wheel is uh, about 100. Nine, 189 centimeters because this is my height and look it's actually exactly exactly my height Everything is so giant, so massive. This is a passenger steam locomotive built in 1917. The rail car. It's a third class suburban car. Nineteen eighteen. Awesome. I love it. I love it. This is an eye candy for everybody who loves it. Who loves this kind of techniques. I think it's much it's it must be pretty great uh, for most of men now watching. It's good when you're staying here. Uh, you can see these installations filmed right here, and they recreate the uh, how it how it looked back then in 1917, 1918. The actors played here. Uh, they have all the clothes of that period, the sounds of that period. It's great. Wow. to stay here. Look, now we are in the uh, historic exposition, but that's what is waiting for us later. We will go outside and we will look at the uh, more modern trains, locus.
freight steam locomotive. Is this an eye candy? Is this an eye candy for you? It's definitely an eye candy for me. Such a museum and live music, live brass orchestra. So this is a post car, post rail car. Let's get in. They delivers the uh, letters, the parcels. Let's go to the next hole. It's a service lounge car of the East China Railway. Yeah, the conditions here is much better than in a third or even the first class.
wow. It's huge. I love these exhibits because here we can see what is inside, what is inside of the loca, what is inside of the steam loca. And not only we can see uh, what is inside, like uh, from the back side, but also we can go down, we can go downstairs and we can see what is under, what is under. What is under the the uh, loka? Here is the whole collection, the whole connect collection of uh, uh, steam trains. Wow. I will go now under the train, under the train, and I hope I will not lose the connection there. Come on. Everything you want to know about steam trains, you can find here. All possible explanations, descriptions. Just wow. I candy.
So now let's get inside. Let's get inside of this steam train. I love it. Wow, I remember when I was here like a year ago, it wasn't like that. Yeah, they all the time thinking up something new. That's interesting here how they are telling about their job. Shanter. Shanter telling about his work. Прекрасно. Который Motor coach, 1939. <coughs> That's a great look for 1939. It's a first-class sleeping car. Nineteen eighteen first-class sleeping car on the Red Arrow train. The second-class rail car. Nineteen thirty three Freight Electric Locomotive CM fourteen Industrial electric locomotive nineteen forty three freight steam locomotive And this is a fireless, fireless steam loco. Uh, usually they use this, let's say, on the uh, refineries where it was impossible, uh, where it was uh, important, important 
for the trains, for the locals to be fireless. And this is just a hand driving trolley. Yeah. I guess nothing older than this. Wow. These locusts are amazing. Just amazing. Wow, diesel. Diesel loco. Nineteen twenty two, nineteen twenty four. It wasn't like really diesel yet, but it was a prototype of the diesel loco designed by Yakov Gakel. 1924. Yeah, what a great time. The end of 19th, beginning of 20th time. The time of the openings discovers explorations i love it i love it that was a technologic boom прекрасно прекрасно the time of engineering openings freight rail cars They are serious because many things depends on them. Many things in terms of safety. In terms of the stuff being delivered in time and safe. One of the, um, one of the goals of this museum is not only uh, to save the history of the Russian railways, but also to commemorate all the people who are working in this definitely huge industry. This is a huge industry. This is definitely a special kind of people. I think this is the kind of people who are really like uh, the railways, the trains, the locos. It's in their blood. What do you think? I think it's in their blood. Engineering marvels. Sergey, I love this video. It makes me nostalgic. I enjoy this. I love, I love to be right all around this amazing engineering marvels. All around uh, this uh, steel giants. And uh, with the sounds of you know, like such avant-garde music, the music of the beginning of 20th century. Yes, it's pretty avant-garde. And also the sounds of uh, the trains, their horns. This is great. And this is like uh, the lowest kind of rail cars, like a fourth class. That's just for resettlers.
It's a fourth class for resettlers. Some, uh, normally you can play here, you can play, you can control the trains, but now it's written here that due to technical problems, it is, it is not working at the moment. Change the barrels with a fresh ice, because the ice was uh, getting melt, it was melting, so that's how it works. Okay, a little by little, and we go to the section with more modern trains. Okay, seems like we're getting back. Stalin. Here is, I'm not sure why it, it is not working now, but when it works, it's moving and it's like scanning. It's like making and the scanning, you can see what happens there inside of the train when it's moving. And you can see like through, through the, uh, uh, through the coverage, through the wall of uh, the local. Babes,
nice uh, exhibit here also but it seems like most uh, in this museum you can see when you're coming like just a normal time I don't know maybe a morning lunch time I came to the very end in the extended day So the connection is really very bad there inside, um, in the middle, in the middle of the uh, of this hole. But now when I've got to uh, to the glass closer to the street, it's okay. Yeah, too much still. Прекрасно. 1950s Soviet car. This is Moskvich, what means Moscovite. Normally, this is uh, the museum where you have to plan like to be at least three, four hours. If you really want to get like maximum of information, uh, stop at uh, the uh, uh, screens where you can get maximum of information. The famous crap.
now let's go to the streets okay we've got to the streets here i believe we are not gonna have any problems with the connection uh i'm actually decently pissed off that not everywhere there was a stable connection i guess it's because there's too many screening but okay let's enjoy this open air exposition Wow, it must be an eye candy, it must be eye candy for old man. The uh, artillery complex right on a train. looks so powerful And here is a whole missile complex. Not just an artillery, not just an artillery set. You see, it's it's uh, inside of the car. There is the raising mechanism. Anytime it can up and down this, and uh, to send a missile. Fifty thousand square meters. You remember I told you fifty thousand square meters. So you're just walking all around these amazing pieces of uh, engineering marvel. I 
enjoy this big time. Well, all kinds, all kinds of trains. Very impressive rail museum, must be uh, the best in the world. It's uh, the best in Russia and one of the best in the world. I don't know, yeah, maybe the best. Maybe the very best. So these are already like kind of modern rail cars. Many of such rail cars are still in use on Russian railways. I love it. Looks absolutely powerful. And that's the uh, the car which is cleaning the snow. It used to clean the snow on the railways. 
So cold. That's the projects which were before the sub sun. Local is high speed. in Petersburg, Moscow. Local. It's a uh, it's a bird, falcon. High speed train ES two hundred fifty. Sokol falcon. Assembly assembly at the Trans Mosh. works in Tichman during 1997-1999 yeah so it was actually like a, a ancestor of Siemens Subsan trains 
which are now on the line, on a high-speed line, Moscow, St. Petersburg, which are bringing you from Moscow to St. Petersburg for only three hours, 50 minutes. Looks good. Awesome. So again, I got back to this artillery. This artillery is set. Looks really powerful, especially next to that missile. Okay, here is one more section we never discovered yet. Here are mainline electric locus of the 1950s, 1970s. That's an engineering masterpieces. Wow. One better than another. When you will come here, really you can track all the history of the trains in uh, Soviet Union and even Russian Empire. The very first railway in Russia appeared yet in 1837. That was the railway St. Petersburg Tsarsk Silo, Tsars village. Where was the residence of uh, Russian imperial family? If you remember, I was in Tsarskoye Selo just on, just on Sunday. We went to Catherine Palace and Catherine Park. It's only 20, like 25 kilometers from the center of St. Petersburg. Amazing. You're definitely not gonna regret if you will come here. This is the museum, uh, the way it has to be. The museum where it's not just like you're uh, watching through, I don't know, the shelves, and there's like little things behind the glass. No, this is the museum which is all. Uh, 
which is all filled with the real stuff with the real stuff the stuff which is uh, for a uh, for many many years works in russia imagine that's all these trains yeah they had their own history they were used big time probably millions of kilometers they went through before they got here before they got old as uh, technically as morally and uh, before they after all came here been restored and came here and now we can watch it all we can watch it we can touch it the real stuff not just some local museums with uh, some little stuff on the shelves behind the glass now this is the kind of museums I love I'm only pissed off that uh, there, inside of the exposition, we were losing the connection. Too much screening. And screening is really uh, dramatical for LTE. LTE can go through the bricks concrete it can go through this pretty nice but it's, it's not too good going through the uh, steel metals especially when a lot of metals in the seamless screen about how many items of uh, historical rolling stock are put on display well a lot like at least hundreds, I think that about 120. Read a lot. Like, look, this and this old building and that new building and here in the streets. Здесь выход, да? Угу, спасибо. Спасибо. О, он the exit, the store. souvenir stores scale models of different kind of kinds of trains plates furniture the books, of course, the books. As a simple books, as so-called gift editions, for example, like this, which is uh, about 60 bucks. Train track.
Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is a Femos glasses that you can find in Russian trains and such and other glassers. I'm not sure how you call it, but literally we call them Pudstakanniki, under glassers. It's a big part of uh, train culture. This is a uh, porcelain stuff. Tea glass holder, yes. Such a tea glass holders and glasses. It's a big part of Russian train culture. A wooden scale models of uh, an old school steam trains 8,000 rubles which is like uh, 110 bucks An old map of St. Petersburg, 1890. That's a paper models. Do it yourself, paper models. Ticket office. And here is the real Baltic, Baltic railway station. Suburban trains and also the trains to, let's say, Pskov. In the end, 
I think that's SA Banos. Uh, let's get inside of Baltic Railway Station. I see that I was missing some super chats. Okay, Babo SKF. Thanks for showing us the Grace Railway Museum. Welcome, Dimitris. Thank you, Mario Hernandez. Uh, son of man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, dudes. So, Baltiski Vakzal, as stated from the name, Baltiski, Baltic's railway station. Uh, here the railway goes in direction of Baltic countries, like let's say Pskov. Pskov, not far from Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. So the museum is located in one of the uh, old uh, in one of the old halls constructions of uh, Baltiski. It's impressive. Look. This is uh, an old hall. Now there's a part of the museum. And this is the new hall, which was constructed just recently. The museum, by the way, this, exactly this museum was opened in 2017 on a base of uh, another museum which was founded yet 40 years ago Yes, Burger King is here. Burger King. People who are waiting for the train or came here by train. If you want uh, something fast to eat, you can go to Burger King. One of five active railway stations in St. Petersburg. Great architecture of uh, 19th century. Let's get in.
Okay, I have to buy the tickets in order to go through to the platform but I don't need to go to the platform after all the platform is just a platform but I'm gonna grab some coffee Just gonna grab some coffee. Сахар не нужен, спасибо. Смотрите, у нас на вокзале на Балтийском на Тимлянском Пулково, если вы берете 5 больших напитков горячих, как это, допустим, сейчас, то что будет подарок? Это только здесь? Тимлянский, Балтийский и Пулково. Нет, я очень редко бываю на станции. Ну, спасибо. Hey, look, nice new kind of benches here, look. So you can sit down here, uh, the cup holder and the place where you can end up the cords, how to say outlets. to charge your, your devices. Look, and it's even 220 volts. So it's not just like a USB to charge your USB devices, but actually you can just uh, connect your uh, 
laptop. Tonya Khodas, thank you very much, Tonya. I'm still a little bit pissed off. That's a that's a uh, good part of uh, the live stream. It was ruined with a bad connection. Damn, damn it. But you can foresee everything. Is the electricity 110 or 220? Here in Russia, it's 220. You will not find 110 here. It's 220 here. Yeah, I think that mostly today's live stream was not the best. Yeah, all the delays I think that's because of because I was losing the connection before. Usually, all the delays happens when you're uh, when you're losing the connection, and then it happens so that audio delays the video. The railway announcement tune is great. Yes, it's great, and it's um, it's the same for uh, for all the railway stations in Russia. Yes, this is like a firm sound. Do, 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 do. Okay, dear dudes, dear dudes, and dudettes. Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Thank you all for watching. But I think that eventually, eventually, I will get back here again and I will maintain the connection. See you tomorrow. Because what? Because this is Baklik of Life, the live streams every frigging day. In the end, traditional panorama. My uh, best wishes from St. Petersburg, from northern capital of Russia, from the quintessential of History, culture, architecture, engineering, arts, literature, music. My name is Sergey Baklikov. This was Baklikov Life. Uh, FW72, Scott D, Rishab Sethi, Ashvi, 
06, Barry Brin, Jay Lewis, thank you friends, John Green, Two sixties cowboy, big abu, Phil, Neil McDonald's, Neil McDonald's, Esther Irmak, Ronald Estelle, Lily Pop, Really far thing. Skylab 14 and Volkova. Hey, what a nice reflection of the uh, sunsets in those glasses. Joe Hernandez, Jadis, Catching Guy, 1950. From Baltiski Railway Station. From Railway Museum. From St. Petersburg. From Russia. With love.